Dr. Lawrence Draker. Your question is, does a hysterectomy put you into menopause? I'm gonna give you the inside information. No, no, a hysterectomy does not put a woman into menopause. This is one of the most common misconceptions out there, but it's a myth, and here's why. Menopause occurs when someone is no longer making estrogen. Hysterectomy actually refers only to the removal of the uterus. It has nothing to do with removal of the ovaries, and it's the ovaries, not the uterus, that's responsible for producing estrogen. So unless your ovaries are also removed, a hysterectomy will not put you into menopause. And contrary to what a lot of people think, it's not automatic. It's not automatic for ovaries to be removed at the time of hysterectomy. So after a hysterectomy, I mean, you'll no longer get periods and you won't be able to get pregnant. But again, unless your ovaries are removed, nothing changes hormonally. So the bad news that goes with that is if you had monthly PMS before your hysterectomy, well, you're still gonna have PMS after your hysterectomy. And if you suffered from hormonal migraines before your hysterectomy, you're still gonna have hormonal migraines after your hysterectomy. I also wanna mention that, that many women undergo hysterectomy in their 40s or early 50s. That's the most common time to have a hysterectomy. And even if your ovaries are not removed, you might enter menopause shortly after not because of the hysterectomy, but because that's when you were destined to go into menopause. It was just a coincidence. But having said that, there is scientific evidence that women that undergo hysterectomy, even without ovary removal, might go through an earlier spontaneous menopause than if they'd not had a hysterectomy. It's not clear why that's the case. There's a theory that it might be related to decreased blood flow to the ovaries that recur as a result of the surgery or some other surgical change. Now, of course, some women do remove their ovaries at the time of hysterectomy, and obviously they're gonna go into menopause as a result, unless of course they were already in menopause. And that decision to remove ovaries or not can be really complex. And I do cover it in detail in my book, The Essential Guide to Hysterectomy. You'll also find lots more information on my other videos and on drstriker.com.